Yeah, this is uh, Bang Bang Ray Hill. Just got to the phone to a friend of mine saying that uh, my, my friend uh, Freddie Rondell, Abby Roberts and Peter Gibbs. Now, Peter Gibbs was a right handful, you know. I mean, I, I, you know, I didn't realise what an handful he really was. But he was telling me, this guy, that Peter Gibbs, Freddie Rondell, Harry Roberts, uh, went down to uh, Billy Hill's club and the craze, evidently, had tried to take it over. Uh, it was Freddie Rondell that got hold of the craze and said to them, if you don't leave this fucking club, you're in serious shit, yeah? And they walked out of there with a towel between the legs. Evidently, Harry Roberts, I'm only telling you what I've been told, that Harry Roberts pulled out something out of his, po out of his pocket and put it right on them, mate, and their arseholes went completely out. I can imagine if Harry Roberts would, would do the same things what he done to them police officers, shot them police officers, I should imagine if he pulled something out on the craze, he was, he was very lucky that he never shot them. You know, because I mean, I don't think I, I don't think uh, John I don't think that John Duddy uh, was involved. Uh, John Duddy, I don't think he was involved in it at all. Um, but but by the sounds, but A. Roberts was uh, well tooled up, uh, and he, he, I think he would have given it to the craze. Uh, Freddie Rondell, he didn't need he didn't need a gun. Uh, Peter Gibbs, I should imagine, was well tooled up because Peter Gibbs was nasty. Very nasty, and I should imagine he was sold up as well. But evidently, he put it right on the craze. Uh, Billy Hill um, thanked uh, Freddie Rondell, Peter Gibbs, and A. Roberts for what they did. Evidently, they're supposed to have got something big out of it. I don't know what it was. I don't know if they got another club somewhere, or the Queensway, or they got something. But Billy Hill was big time in the club game, yeah? Um, the craze... What I'm being told, the craze run between the, with, with the towel between their legs, went back to their little Toby and then come nowhere here, nowhere, nowhere back, nowhere near with Billy Hill. I mean, there's a few stories I, I've been told about this, about that, Fraser, and, and all that with Billy Hill and other things. But as far as I'm concerned, I've never, he's never told, he's never, he's never said anything to me, uh, Peter Gibbs, about, um, about, uh, I can maybe go again about Fraser. Never, never ever run Frankie Fraser down, Peter Gibbs. And even though he knows him very well because he was in prison with him for a long time, I've never ever heard him run uh, Frankie Fraser down. Or he just said to me that he can't, he couldn't hold his hands up. But uh, a lot of people liked him, liked him in in their company for some reason. We well, you know more likely because he's a cut people up, yeah. And if it's not, whatever, but that's a good bit of news. I, I, I mean, I mean, I've known Freddie Rondell for a long time. I've known Peter Gibbs for a long time. A. Roberts, I've never really met. I met him on on the circuit, on the movements. Uh, John Duddy, I met very. I mean, John Duddy, me and John Duddy, we had we had good talks in terms of prison. But to hear that, that Freddie Rondell. All the time I knew Fred, he never told me that, you know. I'd always wondering if the craze come up to the Queensway, what would have done? And Freddie Rondell said to me, if they ever come to Queensway, then they'd run, they'd run, mate, really whipped them to pieces, you know what I mean? Because there was people up there that had no chance with. But I'm only telling you what I've been told. I'm 99% sure that what I was just told on the phone is correct. I just thought I'd quickly say it. And anyway, have a nice day. Take a nice one. Bye.